Good morning, Junior 5. Hope all of you are okay. Now let's start with the weekend sheet number one. Number one, complete the following statement. Uh, one, the friction force between air and uh, the friction force between air and the object that moves through it is called air and the object, so it is called air resistance. Number two, by increasing what and what of the body, the air resistance increases. So by increase the speed, and surface area. Number three, what, what, and what are the factors that affect the friction force? The surface area, the speed, and the five, of surface material. Number four, parachute, uh, parachute uh, opens the parachute during landing to increase surface area that increases air resistance. Four, uh, I'm sorry, Junior 5, you have to mention the name or the type of the friction. It's more preferred to write air resistance or water resistance in case that the friction between solid and water or solid and air. But in case of solid or solid, so you can say that resistance or friction force. But if I mention the type of resistance, so you have to mention the type of uh, the, uh, the, the, if I mention uh, the type of the two circuits that will interact together, so you have to mention the type of the resistance. Rockets and what? Rockets and chains are designed in streamlined shape to decrease the air resistance. If reason number one, birds uh, stretch their wings on land. So, will be because or to increase the surface area. So, Increase the air resistance. Uh, I'm sorry. So, yes, increase the resistance. On. Number two, the cars and the aircrafts are designed with a streamlined shapes. We said that to decrease. surface area so decrease the air resistance after that correct the underlying uh, word Friction force depend on the color of the two touching objects. No, depend on the material. As the exposed uh, surface area of the object increases, resistance of air decreases. No, we said increase, increase, decrease, decrease. The train uh, and aircraft are designed in streamline to decrease.
after that water resistance uh, is the friction force uh, that results from the movement of objects through air no will be air resistance when the velocity of train increase the uh, air resistance also increases. We said increase, increase. What happens if, what happens if you have, what happens if uh, you increase the surface area of the moving object? So the friction force increases. Number two, you stop battling during the movement of the bike. So the bike will up because the friction was increased. Number three, a rubber ball moves in, uh, on, an, uh, on a smooth surface. So it will move for a longer distance because the friction force decreases on smooth sets. What's meant by friction force? It's a force that acts between two contact sets and acts in opposite direction. the direction of to the direction of the move and object and closes no down or stop. Number two, air resistance. It's a type of friction force that appears when the object when the object moves to Yes. The match. Uh, the moving core is a uh, match from column B. What uh, suits in column A? Uh, the, uh, the moving core is affected by the air resistance that acts 
So it will be D. Uh, in the opposite direction of its movement. Friction between rough uh, surface, so it will be C, is more than smooth. Number three, by increasing the speed of train will be E, the air resistance increase. Number four, Birds stretch their wings on a landing too will be B, increase their surface area. And finally five with A, the relation between the surface area of moving body and their resistance is a direct relation. Now let's start with the weak end sheet number two. Write the scientific term. A force that a force that uh, that is opposite to the movement of a boat in the river, so it will be air resistance. Friction force it will be wrong because we mentioned the type of uh, two objects: one solid, the other is air. Type of friction force is resulting from the movement of objects through air. I'm sorry, here it will be. Here it will be water resistance. But here it will be air resistance. Number three, a force that oppose the motion of a, a fish in the sea, so it will be water resistance. Complete, uh, complete the following. What is the friction force uh, that results from a movement through a water? So it will be water resistance. The movement uh, of sheep, the movement of the sheep in uh, is in the opposite direction. Fish have which shape streamline. By decreasing the shape of the dolphin in water, the water resistance decreases. Number five is one of the type of friction force in resistance. The reason, number one, uh, when the speed of uh, the swimmer decreases, the water resistance decreases. So, it will be because there is a direct relation between the speed and Water resistance. Number two, air and water resistance slow down the movement of the body because they act in the opposite. Direction of motion. Number three, those who have streamline to decrease the friction force.
choose there is what relation between water resistance and surface type what type of friction uh, force as body moves through water water resistance sliding down sliding a body down over another body means that friction force equal movement force between the two bodies is smaller friction force between the two bodies smaller than a movement or friction force between uh, two bodies is larger so it will be friction force between the two bodies is smaller than movement the friction force between rough surface uh, smooth will be larger than is or are from the factor that affect the air resistance in the speed where surface area lightening for sure no so it will be a and b what happens when the surface area of the sheep that moves through water decrease so the water Resistance will decrease. A swimmer swims with a heavy, a, a very high velocity, so the water resistance will increase. Now we are finished to move forward. Thank you and see you next time.